Just two weeks ago, I was at Unreal Fest, and what I saw there absolutely blew my mind. And no, that's not just YouTube hyperbole. Check this out. I got to test a completely markerless, real-time, full-performance capture setup for both body and face, streaming directly into Unreal Engine onto a MetaHuman. This was demoed to thousands of people throughout the course of the convention, and was even done live during the State of Unreal keynote. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, like a giant and like looking looking up at like myself as a giant or whatever. Uh, yep. And honestly, this is hands down the best real time performance capture I have ever seen, and it had no suits, no markers, and no depth sensors. The freedom that that gives actors and filmmakers, or a anyone doing performance capture for that matter, is a total game changer. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. We're going to take a really close look at the accuracy of these real-time captures, as well as break down the costs, as well as what this tech might be best suited for. So here's the gear that I was using. For body capture, I stepped into the Capture Live setup which is a fully markerless mocap system that tracks everything from head to fingers with AI and machine vision cameras. At the same time, I wore the Core HMC facial rig by Captive Devices. It's lightweight, has a single monocular camera, and was comfortable enough to honestly forget I even had it on. Yeah, wow, this is, this is super comfortable and very, very light. It's like wearing nothing. It, really makes a difference compared to, you know, a head rig with a phone and, you know, not having that weight impeding the motion of your neck. It, it, that's really important. The captive devices and MetaHuman teams running the demo were awesome and generously shared the actual data from my session. Oh, is it recording? Yeah. Oh, awesome, awesome. Push me rolling. All right. Uh... So, although I was just goofing around, uh, you can see how incredible the raw output is. No, uh, no cleanup was done to this animation. Here, I've applied that raw data to a few of the new 5.6 stock metahumans with some custom clothing from Polyphoria. The facial expressions detail is absolutely insane. And again, this performance capture is all in real time. And this looks as good as the previous offline version of MetaHuman Animator. Of course, I have rendered these shots out in Movie Render Queue, but the animation for both body and face is completely raw. Even the hands were extremely impressive. I didn't really stress test them, uh, and they won't get really complex interactions, but other than that, they were some of the best hand captures I've ever seen, certainly uh, from a camera-based system and certainly you know, in real time. Also, here's footage from Ken showing our crowd simulation plugin Overcrowd using the same performance capture data and the new 5.6 MetaHumans. So notice the cloth physics appearing on the guy with the blue and white tunic as Ken scrubs through the sequencer, switching from vats to blueprint actors with cloth simulation. So there's like a pop there, we're still refining that transition, uh, but you get the idea, that is an extremely useful feature and a very powerful core feature of Overcrowd. And if you're interested in trying out Overcrowd, you can actually pick it up now on Patreon for a reduced price while it's still in beta, and you'll get it on Fab for free when it's fully released. All right, let's do some quick numbers. The Capture Live setup with 10 cameras that you see in this video runs about $50,000 total, including hardware. The software itself is $24,000, with an annual $7,000 renewal. So obviously this is a studio solution, but it really might not be that far out of reach for some indie creators if you were a real power user. The Core HMC Facial Rig by Captive Devices is about $30,000, using a 4K global shutter camera, dual LEDs, built-in timecode sync, and is fully integrated with MetaHuman Animator at 60 frames per second. The battery lasts six hours comfortably for full day shoots. So, real-time performance capture has been around for a while with optical systems like Vicon or suits like Xsense, but having it work seamlessly using just cameras with no markers, no calibration, and wearing my normal clothes feels revolutionary. The raw mocap turned out very usable, honestly better than some of my polished capture sessions. 
So this instant feedback allows actors and filmmakers to fine tune expressions and emotional beats and you can use virtual cameras on an iPad uh, and you could really just crank out shots or scenes all day. And honestly, having a giant screen nearby to like look at my performance was way better than just being in an empty room with cameras. Thanks again to the Capturey, Captive Devices, and MetaHuman teams for letting me demo this incredible tech. If you're working with uh, MetaHumans or any characters in Unreal Engine, this workflow is a truly magical experience. So if you found anything useful or entertaining, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.